Hi everyone this is Dr Pasnodi Sumanth consultant pediatrician I hope that all of you are aware of the vaccination program which was started on January 3rd for children of age group 15 to 18 years when it comes to vaccination for children many parents are still in dilemma whether to vaccinate their child or not and have many doubts about safety and how effective it is to their children for such parents here is a video which answers all your queries coming to the first question that is how safe is covaxin for their children remember covaxin is a killed vaccine it's nothing but the vaccine contains the virus particles which are made non infectious by heat or chemicals these killed vaccines are the group of vaccines with maximum experience and the best safety profile this covaxin has been approved for use in children by most international and national experts including the indian academy of pediatrics The expert group at the national level has recommended it for use after reviewing a study of covaxin in India which was done at various centers in thousands of children no serious adverse events were found in that and the vaccine was found effective so leave all your doubts and go get vaccinated for your child then comes the another question that when all the family members are vaccinated why should children still be vaccinated we need to understand that Now we have to target towards ending this pandemic which can only be achieved when herd immunity of the population is achieved so that virus cannot circulate in the population You must remember this coronavirus can only survive in human beings it cannot survive in any animal or in the environment the virus is searching individuals for its survival to infect them and survive Children are a big group who haven't received vaccines yet So these uninfected and unvaccinated children are a good place for the virus to survive. So by vaccinating your children you are increasing their protection from this virus and its bad complications which can cause hospitalization and death but also contributing to the ending this pandemic by contributing to an immunity pool. Therefore even if all the adults have received vaccines children still need to be vaccinated when we have safer vaccines available to us. why we should not give them this advantage to our children another question is there are still infections and reinfections after vaccination in adults so why should children be vaccinated please understand that we have three levels of protection against these viruses the first one prevents the entry of virus into a body the second is action by available specific antibodies which neutralizes these viruses and prevent infection even if the virus has entered our body The third one is it that does not allow the virus to cause severe disease by stopping the multiplication of them in the body. And remember all three are essential. Most covid vaccines are capable of mounting third type of response very effectively which is actually the most important one that could protect from hospitalization and death which actually matters the most. Even if in the future if your antibody titers go down it means the first level and second level of protection may not be that effective but your third level of protection could still save you from hospitalization and death if you have received these two primary dose of vaccines Another question is can there be adverse events too like in adults in children post vaccination Actually no major adverse events are expected with this safest kind of vaccine we can expect only minor side effects like we had in adults such as mild fever pain and swelling at the vaccination site for those side effects medicines like paracetamol can be given when required anything more than that you are supposed to report to the site from where you received the vaccination the another question is what care should be taken after vaccination no special care is advised other than what we need for vaccination for adults just ensure at vaccination sites wear masks and follow social distance the next question is what about vaccinating those children who had a recent covid infection recent studies show that those who had covid in the past and received the vaccination have the highest levels of antibodies in their blood therefore vaccination should be offered to all eligible children irrespective of whether they have covid in the past or not another important question is whether children suffering from cancer allergies seizures autoimmune diseases or some hematological conditions should be vaccinated or not remember these children are the ones who need protection much more than the healthy children 
they are the priority groups for such vaccination covaxin being an inactivated vaccine does not cause any harm to immunocompromised people the final one is how long lasting is the impact of these two doses in children studies have shown that high antibody titers will persist for 6 to 9 months after vaccination after that antibody titers may go down but the third kind of response is expected to last much longer in most cases after watching this video i hope most of you are convinced about the importance of vaccination in children so take your child to the nearest vaccination center and get vaccination done and please do advise the same to your friends and family members